Right, welcome ladies and gents, this will be my review of The Rings of Power Episode 6 uh, and I'm going to talk full spoilers, I'm going to break down an awful lot of what I consider to be utter nonsense uh, which I tweeted some of it out today uh, over on Twitter so please do follow me at Reviews for my quick takes on things There are some monumental writing issues with this show and it's it's so baffling to me that it costs so much money. I mean, we're literally watching a car crash. Now, just as an FYI, I don't think anyone is disputing that it looks good. Like, in terms of, well, I'm sure some people are. But, you know, cinematically, like, it looks pretty decent. There are issues with incredibly cheap-looking armor. It looks like plastic. All the Numenorean armor, plastic. Just looks like a toy. Looks like you give it to a five-year-old. You know, going to a, I don't know, like a fancy dress uh, party. Looks utterly ridiculous. Some wonky VFX here and there, but on a whole, it looks fairly decent. Now, what I think, it, it's, it's just writing. It's written by rank amateurs. Let's, you know, cast aside the thespian nonsense that they all spout. And we know why they're doing it, because they're trying very hard in the writer's room to make this sound like Lord of the Rings, but they don't have any dialogue to pull from. Peter Jackson did, and he used literal dialogue from the books. So that's why it sounded right, because it was, ri it, it was written by a linguistics expert. Right? Like, it's going to sound good, isn't it? So let's cast aside all the thespian nonsense. We Again, we know all of that stuff. What have we been building towards? What have we been building towards? Well, we've got this sword, haven't we? The sword that feeds on blood. Oh, it's a big, bad, evil sword. Oh, it's... Have you heard of Sauron, lad? Yeah, we, we had one of them say that, didn't we? Waldrig, or whatever his name was. Oh, it's big, bad... No, it's a key. To anything special, important? No. It's a key to a dam to un... I... I shit you not. The sword is a key to a, to unlocking the floodgates of a dam, which, when unlocked, floods into trenches, which must be dug in such a way, very, very expertly done, mind you. So this whole plan is predicated on the fact that trenches are dug, which would lead water all the way down into the belly of Mount Doom to then have a pyroclastic I think it's pyroclastic or pyroclastic chasm blast which will then engulf the land and it will all be dark and black what a shit shit plot device that is because it's predicated on so much nonsense one, Mount Doom was already a thing, just as an FYI. Mount Doom was created by Morgoth, or Melkor, Sauron's master, right? It was already a thing. And this is not how Mount Doom came to be again. That's already established. We don't need the origin of Mount Doom, guys. Writers of the Rings of Power, we don't need Mount Doom's origin. Utter garbage. Secondly, we open with the elf snaring the orcs, ambushing them. Wow, what a great plan. If only the orcs had bows and arrows. Oh, conveniently, the writers chose not to write them with bows and arrows. In fact, the, the elf on high with the high ground, the orcs having to attack him all go in single file. So anyway, his plan of ambush works because the writers didn't think it important enough to write in that the orcs had bows and arrows, which they later have in the episode and are shown to be expert marksmen. Now, if you were smart as a writer, you would show that the orcs had the bows and arrows and they were shooting at the elf. Yeah. And he was so quick and athletic, as elves are supposed to be, that he managed to dodge them. That would have been one way of doing it. But no, we get this utter tripe instead. 
So again, remember, ladies and gents, later in the episode, they have bows and arrows. They had them before that as well. Do you remember when Elf Boy was escaping? And all the bows and arrows, all the arrows flinging through the... Well, there you go. So they did have them. Just, would they forget? What, did, what happened to the, to the bows and arrows? What's going on? Anyway, then from there, obviously, big siege on the town. You know, the orcs come down. They all come down. Oh, you know, big, big fight between the Southlands men and, and the orcs. But wait, they're not orcs. They're the men. And they're all really sad. I get that they're sad, but those people did betray them. It wouldn't be that sad. Kind of sad, but not that sad. Not as sad as they were. Oh, and then wait, the orcs have sprung their own ambush. Okay, cool, fine. Adar gets the sword that's a key. Completely pointless. And then, coincidentally, it's night time, but then suddenly it's daytime. And the Numenorians are literally... Like that, it's daytime. And then the Numenorians are galloping over the hill. Galadriel swooping in. Saving the day. Theo's like, who's that? Oh, it's Galadriel. Leader of the Northern Armies. You're like, this, I mean, is this an advert for Galadriel's action figure? What am I watching? What am I actually watching? And anyway, obviously the orcs get captured, Adar gets captured, the sword gets captured, and rather than looking, because the sword's wrapped up, they know it's important, and rather than looking at what's in there, they choose to keep it wrapped up, and they also seem completely nonplussed by the fact that it's in its wrapping is the shape of an axe. Oh, because wait... It's unwrapped and it's an axe. Ha ha ha. Adar fooled you all. Waldrig's actually got the sword damn floodgate key. And he's going to flood the land. But no, it's actually just going to kickstart Mount Doom or some fucking garbage. Uh, also, what was that about Isildur next to the Queen Regent? And then she just suddenly says, go. What? Is there a conversation that we've missed here? I understand that the writing is implicate is the writers are implying that she obviously knows that Isildur is the son of Elendil and wants to swoop in and help. But she's flip flopping between being a bitch and being nice. So with that's character like it's just it's bad characterization. Secondly, why didn't you just write it in the dialogue a bit better? Why didn't you just say go to your father or go help your father? Why didn't you do that? No, just why did you just say go? This is such substandard writing, it's painful. Legitimately painful. Also, they're on the boat. Galadriel speaks to Isildur. Oh, I can see it. Well, you'll be able to see it soon. Boom! Suddenly, they can see Middle Earth. I hate the show. It's, it's really, it's like, it's rancid poo. If you can defend those things that I've said... You should join the Olympics, because that's some mental gymnastics you're doing to defend those massive, raging plot holes. That's not good writing. It's really bad writing. Yeah.